Yeah, we have brake issues with this car. Interesting. That's the worst landing I've had. That bloody hurt. Welcome to another great King Chrome Time Waster. This is Side by Side Versus, where we pit random vehicles against the mighty Polaris Turbo R. Each vehicle will enter the gauntlet and be ranked until we find our champion. It was good fun. I think I did really well for a three-ton four-wheel drive. I'm proud of it. She did good. Jacko, wacko. Happy to have you here. Excited to see this patrol out in action. Do you want to give me a little bit of a rig overview of <laughs> what you've got to offer in terms of uh, versing the Polaris? Yeah, so this is my entry, GQ Patrol. Just an undefeated off-road weapon. 350 Chev, 35s, heaps of P-plate mods. It's a weapon. How heavy is the beast? It's heavy. Heavy? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I'm going to say two ton, maybe. Um, we'll see what it does, see if we're silly enough to do any jumps. But I think it's pretty heavy. What is its uh, top speed? Well, legally 100 kilometers an hour, obviously. I don't know. Honestly, if you ever get a patrol going quite quick, it's, it's not a good time. These are shaped like a brick. The, the aerodynamics is pretty terrible. And obviously, this car will find home in really rough terrain, punish the hell out of it and park it, and then just do it the next weekend and the weekend after. And I'm curious, any like performance modifications that you've made for this event? We gave it a little bit of a prep, just checked a few things, made sure that it had engine oil in it. It's not running a rear bar, so it's a lot lighter. And is there any challenges that you think the patrol is going to really shine? The, the lap will be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. And the, the burnouts. The burnouts will be good because, yeah, V8's always been good. Beautiful. Well, it's just started raining here in fucking Bass Country. <laughs> it always rains here. <laughs> the drivers will be timed zigzagging through the cones, hairpin around the last one, zoom all the way back, and come to a complete halt before the toolbox. This is the brake box challenge. You did all right in that one. That was actually pretty decent. I mean, your braking was boring, but talk me through it. I'm glad my braking was boring. It was fun tossing it around the cones. The, the patrols actually handled quite well for a, a big old car. And then having the ability to use the handbrake was great. And then, yeah, stopping it for the box. We have brake issues with this car, but brakes only slow you down. Not a big problem until you have a challenge you need to slow down, which then, as you see, wasn't an amazing run. But we're going to find some strong points for this car. There are some challenges coming that we might be able to show off what this car is really capable of. This is the Max Trax Tug of War Challenge. Let's see who's the strongest. interesting i was like i reckon the patrol is gonna get this uh no so <laughs> the the take from it for me was i was super impressed with the razor it just anchored us into the ground <laughs> we just dug holes this is the drag race challenge where drivers we put up against the polaris turbo r in a straight line sprint Jacko, not bad, not great. 
No. <laughs> it was fun. I did it in low range because I just thought that it would have sounded cool grabbing heaps of gears because I, I was very confident that we had no hope against beating the Razor. But, you know, we poked it out there and tried anyway. The next thing was pulling it up. Like, it's a heavy car, the brakes, like, are pretty average. And once we got past that toolbox, it was like, uh, are we going to stop or are we just going to end up in those mounds of dirt? So, yeah, it was, it was actually a lot of fun. It went okay, but we obviously lost. But that's, that's fine. I reckon we'll, we'll get them later. Yeah, I won't lie. As a spectator, I was really hoping you were going to hit those mounds. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just like every time I watch your in-car when you jump your car and hope it's going to flip, but anyway. <laughs> All right. Suspension is key in this challenge. Drivers will drive as far up the ramp without their back wheel lifting. The winner will be whoever can get the highest. I actually reckon you might not do too bad in this challenge in this freaking beast of a thing. Full faith in the big girl. It's going to be okay. Or it's not. You've heard it here first, folks. Six seventy. Yes! Hell yeah. Talk me through the strategy going into that one to begin with. I've never done a flex ramp sort of thing. Like it's just, it's never really been a thing I've done before. So I was actually a little nervous because I'm a bit silly. And I'm like, well, look, the aim's to go as high up the ramp as possible, but you'll probably roll the car. Like you, you are absolutely putting the car in a position to roll it. As soon as we actually started it, I was like, we'll just go as hard as we can, see how far we can get it up there. And yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. If we had a front locker in it, I think we would have, could have easily rolled the car. Yeah. But um, yeah, she's an open front diff and yeah, we got it as high as we could. Drivers will go head to head to compete to get the fastest time. This is the hot lap. Patrol really shined in this one. I mean, obviously not against the Razor, but against all the other vehicles, that was actually pretty impressive. I was nervous about the hot lap. I've done so many laps on that course in a Razor. Like you get in anything out there and you forget what you're in sometimes. And in the Razor just eats up that track. Like there's bumps out there. You've got no idea they're even there in a Razor. And, and we found them in the patrol. So I just thought, you know what? The guys race patrols in our race series and they jump them. I'm like, let's jump it. and. Hats off to those guys, because that's, that's full on. That's the worst land I've had. That bloody hurt. <laughs> so the rest of the lap, we set the bar on the first jump that we were doing. It was a bad, we're going to do bad things. We're going to be hard on the car. 
and we kept that up for the whole lap we bounced it through the brakes obviously are terrible so a couple of times came in way too hot and then oh that's right we've got no brakes and just slammed it into holes yeah it was just one of those this is going to be a bad decision but maybe it'll look cool and yeah finished the lap and came up to Daniel and he gave him the thumbs up that all the wheels are on it and full pacing in the same direction, which was, I was very surprised. All right, we are here at the Penrite Oil Skid Pan Challenge. Basically what drivers are gonna aim to do is create the most smoke, the best sound and the longest burnout. Let's see how we go. This one was an exciting one and I think a real victory that we're going to go with. I wouldn't say you were the pick of the litter in that one, but you came through and the patrol really shined. I'm coming in cocky. I was the picker of litter for myself on this one. <laughs> a little bit of practice on that skid pan. Once again, functioning handbrake, which can be really helpful to get it into a bit of a spin. It was awesome. Like We were really hard on it, revving the crap out of it. Temps were good, just loved it. Would have been cool to blow the tyres off the rim, but at the same time, we did just paint it and it's when it's clean, it's pretty. And I didn't really want to bang all the tires through the guards and stuff. So I think it went perfect. I was really happy with the burnout and, yeah, and it sounded cool. Yeah, no, it was very impressive. And I think that is, yeah, that was one to watch. No. Overall, congrats, you actually, you beat the Razor in the burnout, in the burnout. Well, there you go. I think Dad got a bit closer to the fences than I did too, but. It didn't you should be pretty proud. It, look, it didn't disappoint. That's like one of the cool things about patrols. These are just a seriously cool car. And uh, <laughs> I've just always loved it. And you can just do silly things with it. So they're great. And after everything that has happened um, over all these challenges, is there anything that you need to fix on the patrol? No, not really, just give it a wash. So that's the coolest part about them, they're, they're tough. Well, huge congrats on a average effort. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Next time on the Side by Side Versus Series.